Wednesday, August the 10th. Lake level's a little under 9.15, it's like 9.14 and a half. It's come down about a, a little over a foot since last week. Uh, water temperature's still about the same, about 85 to 87 degrees. And it's been pretty sultry out there the last couple of days. I mean, man, the humidity's high. If there's no wind blowing, it's it's been hot, you know, after about 10 o'clock. But uh, the fish are still biting pretty good. Uh, probably one of the most predominant bites is still a drop shot bite, uh, football jig. But, you know, I am getting a better topwater bite each day. This fish schooling out over some deeper structure. The fish just seem uh, awful fussy about what they want to bite. It seems like you can almost just stand there with a lure in hand, ready, wait for the fish to come up. They're not coming up in groups, most of them are singles, but it seems like when that fish comes up, you've about got to hit them right in the head, and then you'll have a chance of catching them. And, you know, I've been trying to work a flutter spoon and some swim baits and underspins in these areas that the fish are busting, not having a whole lot of success. Seems like if uh, I'll go ahead and fish a drop shot vertically for suspended fish, 25, 30 feet deep, and then if I see a fish come up on top, I'll have a top water rod ready there to uh, have one of my clients throw at them. But a couple of the baits that seem to be working the best, I uh, seem to be catching them on a, uh, just a, a super fluke, which is, you know, the, the standard fluke, and either in a bait fish color, smoking shad, or even an all white or pearl will work as well. About 12 inches up from the, from the bait, I'm tying a pretty heavy swivel so I can get some casting distance, help keep the twist out of the line, and also uh, get the bait to drop down a little bit. But I'm working that bait real fast, pretty much on top, trying to keep it in the areas where the, you know, the fish are, are schooling and blowing up. And on my hard baits, it seems like the smaller baits, I've been trying to throw, you know, like a bigger spook, a jointed redfin, but what seems to be working better, uh, this one here is a, a set Strike King Sexy Dog. It's about the size of a Spook Junior, which a Spook Junior will work fine. Uh, another bait I've been, we've been catching some on is you all heard a lot about the Whopper Plopper. Well, this is the small Whopper Plopper. About a three and a half inch bait. And what's good about this bait is you can work it like a like a buzz bait. It's got a tail on it that spins when you work it like a buzz bait. Or you can work it like a prop bait. You can sit there and you know jerk it and just like the baits that have a propeller on the back, it'll sit there and spray water. And you can work it, you know, kind of like that, like a pop bar. Jerk it, let it set, jerk it, let it set, or work it like a buzz bait. But like I say, it seems like the fish are liking a smaller bait. Uh, I've tried a little, you know, smoked four inch grub and I catch a few on that, but it seems like if I can, if once they're up, I can catch them on the hard bait if I can get the, the bait casted right to where the fish is. And there's been a lot of fish mixed in with, you know, a lot of different size fish, a lot of small ones, but we are catching some good keepers. I mean, we're still catching 20, 30, 35 fish in a four hour deal. We're just having to weed through a lot of small ones to get the bigger ones. Uh, and a lot of these fish are coming out off of deeper docks, uh, bluff end points. The fish are still pretty much holding over deep water structure like deep timber. And that's where we're catching them on top or on the drop shot. The, drop, the best drop shot bite still seems to be the fish suspended anywhere from a lot of little ones up there about 20. Seems like the little bit better fish are coming from 30 to 40 feet deep over submerged timber, some out in front of these docks, and several different worms are working. Uh, you know, I like the ones that are either red, chompers, brown, purple, lamb, but a watermelon candy will work, a green pumpkin, just seems like anything that's in about four, four and a half inch length will, will work good on them same fish. And I've been getting a football jig. My football jig's been you know, quite a little bit shallower on um, main lake points. I can't get it to work back in the creeks as well, but it's been more on the main lake points like bluff ends, uh, places where I got a channel that comes up against a point where I got a good drop off. It seems like if you're fishing a flat gravel point where it rolls off, the bites will come whenever you get in that bigger rock, in the chunk rock. 
But like I said, a lot of them fish, I'm setting the boat in 20 to 30 feet of water. I think the, most of the bite's about 15 to 20 foot deep. Uh, still a little bit of a jig and spoon bite going, you know, around some of the docks. But with this, uh, you know, water dropping certain periods of day, actually in the hottest part of the day, the fish have been biting pretty good. A lot of times we're off the water by 10 or 11 because, you know, it's been getting so hot. But, uh, like I say, you know, still quite a bit going on for, for the dog, dog days of August. You know, the bite's still pretty good. You catch a lot of numbers of fish. There's some bigger fish, you know, starting to show up on the top water. Uh, I think early a guy could probably run the banks with a whopper plopper or a buzz bait, cover a lot of water, maybe have a chance of catching a bigger fish. Most of the fish I've been catching, we've been going more after the members of fish, and those are the fish that are out there suspended over, over deeper structure. But uh, till next week, and also, you know, the thing to mention is the lake's really quieting down. You know, most of the kids have gone back to school, so most of the people that were on summer vacation have pretty much en ended their vacation. So the last few days have really been pretty pleasant as far as the boat traffic. There hasn't been that much at all, but all we're seeing out there is just fishing boats. So till next week, uh, good luck, good fishing.